I mean, who doesn't want to look like a, a cute little unicorn, you know? Why not? Or that your head is just abnormally long. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. Today, we're going to be talking about the new Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. That's so exciting to say. <laughs> so if you've been interested in this palette, you saw it, you thought it was pretty, you don't know if you're gonna like it, you wanna hear more about it, then definitely keep on watching. Or if you just wanna sit back, relax, talk about some makeup, drink some festive coffee, then definitely keep on watching as well. If you enjoy this video while you're watching, please give it a thumbs up. And also please consider subscribing to my channel. It's just a really great way that you can find my videos a little bit easier and a free way that you can support my channel. So it helps us both out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Jesus, your hand stretched out to me. Okay, so I'll go ahead and insert some swatches and close-ups from the palette so you can see all the colors a little bit better. I will say that when I was swatching the blush, I noticed that it felt a little bit drier than I was expecting. So it is a cream blush, but it felt almost like, it felt almost like a powder, kind of like a little bit creamier than a powder, I guess, but it was not nearly as creamy as I was expecting. Also, I tried to capture it on film and get really close to the camera. It has like a weird, like spongy top. It has like little bubbles on it. It doesn't look super smooth. I don't know if that's just my palette or if all of the palettes are like that, but it has like a weird sort of a texture on the top. It's not super smooth. Once you start digging your finger into it, it smooths out, but yeah, it's just sort of strange. I wasn't expecting it. It feels really hard pressed into the pan. Like a lot of cream blushes that I've tried are really, really emollient and slippy. This kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. putty blushes in that it's like a drier consistency and it feels like it's gonna dry down to more of a matte finish. But I would say that those feel a little bit more slippy to the touch when you're like digging your finger in, whereas this feels even more dry, but it can kind of get creamier the more the warmth and friction that you expose to it, if that makes sense. So yeah, just something to be aware of. These two shades look absolutely stunning, so I'm so excited to put them on my lids. Also, by the way, how are we feeling about this poof? I don't know if you guys had the same thing going on in your high school, but it was definitely the, the style. The poof was all the rage. All the girls were wearing poofs. I was not a fan because I have a cowlick, so it was really hard for me to get my poof good. But yeah, especially all the cheerleaders. I was a cheerleader in high school and we all wore the poof. Like this, this thing. I don't know, I kind of just felt like doing it today to give my hair a little bit of volume. I straightened it, but I felt like it was looking a little flat. So I added the poof. How do we feel? Do we like it? Are we a fan? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I, I would love to know what you guys what you guys think of a little a little poof here. I mean, who doesn't want to look like a a cute little unicorn, you know? Why not? Or that your head is just abnormally long. Okay, so enough chatting about stuff that you guys don't care about. Let's go ahead and get into the Natasha Denona Glam face palette. I will say the packaging, beautiful, so pretty. One of the prettiest things I have in my collection. It kind of reminds me of the Makeup Revolution packaging, like that rose gold metallic moment. I actually picked this up because I saw it on Treadmood and it looked like the perfect everyday palette. So I'm a busy mom and when I'm in a rush to get my makeup done or even when I'm traveling or something, I just like to have something like this that's super convenient. You just have everything that you need pretty much. I mean, a lot of what you need in one little easy compartment. I don't know, I was really intrigued from that aspect and also it just has a lot of the colors that I'm drawn to. I love neutral colors on a daily basis and this pink blush looked like something that I would really enjoy as well. Okay, let's go ahead and apply some highlight first. I'm super excited about this highlight because it looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna like lightly tap my brush in. Little ASMR for you. Ooh, it has a really nice mirror too. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and apply some of this to my cheekbones. Also, don't mind this little dry patch action I got going on over here. 
Oh my gosh. Do you see that? That is intense. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's the only word I can use to describe it. It is intense, but it, it looks so natural at the same time. And it's not really overly emphasizing my texture or anything like that. A little bit goes a long way, so just be aware. Like, look, oh my gosh. Yeah, if you want a beaming highlight, this will give it to you. Look at my cheek. I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl that in so it's not like a super big stripe on my face. And I'm gonna apply some of that on the tip of my nose and just sweep lightly underneath the brow bone. Wow, that is beautiful. I really like that highlight. All right, next I'm gonna hop into the blush. I'm just gonna take a stippling brush because that's usually how I like to apply cream products. Yeah, it's not super pigmented right off the bat, but it is really pretty. It looks super natural. And it has like tiny little pearlescences in it. You can kind of see it in the pan. It looks a little bit like not glitter or sparkles, but you can see like a little bit of a pearlescence, but the blush itself is not really emollient or dewy. So if you have like combo oily skin, I think you might still like this because it doesn't feel like it's really gonna slip and slide around, but it still gives you like a really pretty luminosity. And the color, at least on my skin tone, looks so just natural. Wow, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna build it up a little bit just so you can see the color a little better. I mean, in person it looks perfect, but just really want you guys to see the color. I'm so happy. I was a little bit worried about this blush, to be honest, because it felt really dry, but it looks really pretty. And I feel like because it is a little bit more dry, it's gonna have really good lasting power. I'll go ahead and put a note in the description box if I notice anything about how long it like wears. All right, let's go ahead and do the eyes next. So you get five shades for eyeshadow and you get three mattes and two shimmer shades. She does label them like according to where she recommends them to be placed, but you can of course place them anywhere that you'd like. Let's go ahead and kind of follow her guidelines though, just for fun, see what happens. Now I've never used Natasha Denona shadows before, but of course I've heard all the rage, so I'm very excited, but also scared because I know they're very pigmented. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna go in with the transition shade first and I'm gonna pop that in my transition. So just, whoa, it seems really powdery. Just like lightly tapping and you can see there's a lot of powder. Tap off the excess. Let me zoom in a little bit. That may very well be the easiest eyeshadow I have ever applied. <laughs> My gosh, I'm super impressed. Let's go ahead and take a slightly smaller brush and jump into crease. And we're gonna pop that in our crease. I actually think it's pretty helpful that she names them according to where she recommends you placing them because if you're a beginner, if you are a beginner, this would be really great for you because like I said, you don't really need to have a million different products. You can just get your highlight, your blush, and your eyeshadows for every day all in one place. And it's super easy because you know exactly where they're supposed to go. So. You know, I think it's good for beginners. And then, you know, if you're more advanced and you want to play around, you definitely don't have to follow like where she recommends them to go. But, you know, it's just nice if you're like just starting out or if you sometimes get lost with where to put certain shades. Now, let's go ahead and add a little bit of a more depth with smoke. I'm gonna do like a little winged liner action. So I'm gonna take a little angled brush. There's a little bit of fallout with this shade, so just be aware. All right, let's go in with some shimmer. Let's take the deeper shimmer called Outer Corner, and we're gonna apply that like 
on the middle of the lid. I'm just gonna go with my finger and see how that works. Ooh, looks so pretty. Oh, so glittery. Can you see? This is like a rose gold bronzy glitter shimmer super reflective shade. It's gorgeous. <laughs> wow. It the camera doesn't even do it justice like in person. This is like this makes me feel like I have a beautiful fluffy fur coat on and Louis Vuitton heels and I'm getting out of my convertible with my bodyguard and going on the red carpet. So glamorous. I am getting a little bit of fallout, but you know, that's typical with glitter, glittery shades like this. It's actually not that bad. Um, but to avoid that, I would just recommend doing your eyeshadow first. Let's go ahead and see how inner corner here applies with a brush, just for funsies. Looks like I might have to wet this. It's picking up a little bit. Ooh, that's really pretty too. I think it's better with the finger, but let me try to wet the brush. Oh yeah, that's better. I think it's still going to be the best with a finger, to be honest, which is normal. I always like really applying my shimmers with a finger. Really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara, tight line a little bit, clean up the fallout, and then we'll do the lower lash line. Alright guys, so I just finished up the eyes and I have to tell you, I am in love. I love everything about this palette. The highlighter, first of all, is just out of this world amazing. It is so beautiful. It looks natural, but like glamorous and intense at the same time. And it just melts into your skin. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top of it. So pretty, so beautiful. Definitely a new favorite. The cream blush, I am pleasantly surprised. It actually blends out really easily on the skin and it just looks super seamless. It's not too dewy to where it like extincts into your pores and feels like it's gonna slip and slide around. It actually feels really dry. So I think if you have more normal to oily skin, you're gonna like this too. It does have a little bit of pearlescence to it so it adds a beautiful glow to your cheeks without being like sticky or dewy. But it also doesn't feel drying like a powder so it's a really cool formula i really like it the only thing is um so it does come with a little like flap to keep the cream in the powder separate but it doesn't like click into place so i still feel like a little bit of air can get through so i'm a little bit worried that that is going to dry out but we shall see with time the eyeshadows are stunning. The mattes are so pigmented, but they blend really easily and they're not overly pigmented to where I feel like it can get muddy. The shimmers are absolutely stunning. So beautiful, so dimensional. I cannot stop staring at my eyes. It looks like I have a cream shadow on. Like it is so, so pretty. I love both of the shades. I feel like all of the tones work together perfectly. It's, I feel like I could wear this on an everyday look, but it's also like, so elegant and like elevated that I can wear it to a party as well. So overall, 10 out of 10. First impressions, I love this palette. I think if you have your eye on it, you should definitely snag it up. It is so good. I don't think you'd be disappointed. I, I'm so happy that I got this. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that wraps up this first impressions. I hope you guys found this helpful, useful, entertaining, 
all of the above. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you have any prayer requests, if there's anything going on in your life right now that you need a little bit extra help with, you need to talk about, um, I'm here to support you. We're here to support you. I want to build a really welcoming and powerful community here on the internet. So yeah, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below if you have anything that you want us to pray about. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.